everybody, long time no chat. Uh, today I would like to introduce you to my latest kit and that is to make your very own little earrings with dot art. What I have in the kit is a paper towel, doming resin in two parts, the one part hardener and one part resin. This is a special polyurethane based resin so that it's made just to dome. You can't use it for deep setting like you would with casting resin. It's not that type. This is strictly for on top of paintings, on top of trays, and in this case on top of earrings. So this kit comes with a little two syringes that you can mix. I've got a palette and your basic primary colors, a bit of green and some black and white craft paints. We've got two little tot glasses to put your earring onto so that when you resin it so it can drip off onto that with a little piece of silicone mat that you can also put down that's for the resin and this is to stir your resin into with your stirring stick so that will come later and your glove to keep your hands resin free sandpaper to neaten up your resin work and then we have some earrings and jump jump hoops your earring base and of course your dot art kit so to start with you can get your tool kit out and you'll see that the tools are I'm not quite sure if you can see so well each one has got two little balls and they are different sizes that's your biggest one and then they just go smaller and smaller as you go along so you can take those out I don't use all of them myself I only use a few so I find also that you can change the, sh the size of the dots according to how much paint you load onto the tool so just take them out put them on the one side and they're easier to get hold of keep your little paper towel handy because you're going to use that to wipe off your paint and then we're going to get started so what I have is I've got one that I'm kind of halfway through I've painted it with the normal black just the standard black on both sides you can either keep your dots on the one side and keep the other one blank if you want to if you don't want to remember you're doing everything double because it's earrings so you can do the two fronts and then while uh, you're doing the back you can refer to your other earring that you've already done so it matches so this one's just for the video purpose so i'm not going to make it specifically match probably not going to make it match at all <laughs> okay so we're going to start off with the biggest ball you just dip it in you can draw a design if you want to if it's going to make you feel more comfortable instead of doing it straight up but I'm obviously for the sake of speed I'm going to go as quickly as possible so what I'm going to do is you'll see I do it on the four corners and I dip every time and then fill in in the middle Try not to let the dots touch each other. It just makes it look a bit neater. So there we go. I'm going to make the one in the middle a little bit bigger. And you can do that just by spreading it out a bit and keeping it into, in a circular shape. And now I'm just going to wipe it off. Once this is dry, you can then take a smaller ball and you can um, go over it on the inside but in the meantime I'm going to just take the yellow and I'm going to take a smaller ball these things are going all over the place and then just kind of dot in between So the more you load paint onto your tool, the bigger your dot is going to be. So I will show you as an example. I'm going to dip it once, and then I'm going to just 
as you can see, it just gets as the, the gets less paint on, it gets smaller and smaller. So you've got that kind of a look, which is quite cool. I'm going to turn it over so you can see what it looks like when I dot on top of it. I'll just keep the yellow. I'll wipe off that side. I'll go with a smaller little ball, and let's go on the. Also, if you dip your, your tool in each time, you're going to get a slightly raised dot, which is also quite nice because it, it, you can kind of rub your finger over and feel it if you don't use resin. If you use resin, the resin will even it off so you have a nice smooth surface. So it all depends on what kind of finish you want. If you don't want to use resin, you can use just normal polyurethane varnish to give it a nice shine or a spray varnish if you want to, to give it a nice shine. So there you go. It's a bit of a raise. And that's basically how you use your dot art tool. Of course you can mix whatever colors you want in, um, in your palette. So your red and your yellow will make your orange and red and white will make pink and so on and so forth as you would probably know. Okay, now very important when you're using resin to make sure that you're in a very well ventilated space that um, your doors and windows are open you could have a fan going alternatively the ideal is to use a proper ventilator mask especially if you have got lung problems once you've finished your project you must still take your um, your piece inside or cover it because it keeps on giving off fumes. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just put down my little mat. This is another shape that I've got available as well, which is quite cool. The hole is at the top here, so it'll hang in front. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put a bit of resin over that. So you can see I've got it propped up on here. And I'm only going to use one mil of each. So you pour it out of the syringe. The syringe makes it extremely easy to use until the line. And you use very, very little for the earrings. The next one. Until the line. It's very important with resin that you mix it properly and that the portions are the same. I'm actually mixing in the wrong glass. You should actually mix it in this one because that plastic is a bit thicker and you can um, reuse it afterwards. This one, unfortunately, now I will have to throw away. But, well, what can you do? I would say I would edit it out, but uh, <laughs> I'm not really going to worry. At this stage you can, if you want to add some glitter to it, you can also add some mica powder to color it or you can um, keep it plain or you can um, put a little bit of paint in it, but very, very little, just to tint it if you want to. I'm just going to keep it plain for now. So I like the design with just the chakra colors, very plain. Okay, you're just going to keep stirring and stirring and wipe off the sides when you stir it. So you make sure it's completely mixed. Okay, you can see that there are little bubbles, but that's okay. Well, I'll show you how to work that in a moment. I'm going to just leave it to stand for two minutes while it just starts working its magic. Don't use let it stand for too long. Now with this one, you're just going to pour it out on top of your piece in the middle. And you're just going to kind of move it around with your stick. You'll notice with the doming when it creates like a, a little lip so that it 
if you're careful it won't go over the edge it'll just go up until the edge especially with these little skinny pieces you don't have to worry about working too fast because the, the resin does take a while to set so you can take your time just move it up to the edge also very important when you are working with resin to make sure that you have got it on a very straight surface because this is self leveling so if it is not straight it will run off okay that looks pretty good And then if you have bubbles with this resin, you don't use a heat gun and you don't use a torch. You just use a straw and you just very gently, sorry, I think I bumped you. Very gently exhale. You don't want to spread it around. You just want to exhale very softly and the heat of your breath will pop the bubbles. And that's it now you put it somewhere far away from you that you don't get that resin fumes on you at all and there you have a beautiful earring and then you once it's dry so you wait about 24 hours if the, you do have any residue on the side you can then use your sandpaper to sand it down or um, flip it over and do the back thank you so much for watching i'll see you soon bye